Well, hello, hello out there, everybody. Crake and Bake here. Glad to be on this this nice, lovely weekend here. It uh, feels really good to be back on. Um, I had a, a round of uh, stomach bug make it through the entire family around the house, so unfortunately the past couple of weeks have not been the most fun for us. Um, so it feels really nice to just be getting back to some of the normal and getting on here and glad to have everybody along who's able to make it. So starting things off here, we uh, have been working and working on our, our lovely cryptid base around here, which I could probably stop being zoomed in on my face. And it's been, been quite nice getting this whole observation area set up. Um, and of course, our recent thing we have been working towards has been getting towards the nether. Um, however, since the theme of the, the little series I've got here um, is has the rule of any time I die, we change which uh, build theme we're doing. And since I would like to remain in the cryptids build theme a little bit longer, um, we wanted to make sure we are nice and geared up before heading off for the nether. And so for that, we had to get some diamonds. And ooh. Oof. Just look at, actually, let's let's really look at all these diamonds. Just really, ooh, yeah, take them in. That's that's some good stacks of diamonds right there. Feels uh, feels good getting all all built up with all of those. It took a little bit of digging around in the in our diamond mine, and hopefully you, en you enjoyed the uh, way we decided to pass that time. But now we've got this big stack of diamonds, and we're ready to turn it into equipment. Um, I've done some other things to get things ready, so we'll get that all geared up and set, and then we'll head on out to our nether. First, though, I'd probably probably better go to sleep. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep holding on to these diamonds. They're they're so pretty. Last thing I want to see before before shutting my eyes for the night here, and first thing I want to see right when I wake up. Oh yeah, they still look gorgeous. Now, uh, I probably should, just for safety's sake, grab grab my uh, current iron armor. Um, oops. Just for uh, this next step that we have in the process. Um, because, of course, we have all these diamonds, but we don't want to just uh, mine diamonds um, as they are. So I did put fortune on this pickaxe. Um, unfortunately, I was only able to get fortune one and... Um, so we won't get quite as many as we possibly could, but that's okay because we're still kind of starting out in this world So I feel like if we we're doing like a big maxed out fortune pickaxe and a big stack of diamonds It probably just wouldn't be quite right. We got to build up to that moment a little bit What what do you see? Anything cool anything exciting you see some Sasquatch? Nope just barking at a wall that works too So to uh to first start things out so i've got these three diamonds that were left over after we had had our first round of diamond searching um, and we'd had a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe that we were able to get off of that so we'd had our original nine uh, i think i think that's right or is a sword only two a sword's two um so we had our eight diamonds that we had started with and now we're going to see how many we were able to get, thanks to uh, thanks to our last stream there. So we're just going to keep going up and up and up. Just love that clink sound, too, of the diamonds going down. Ooh, and look at our lovely surrounding areas. Just beautiful being up at the top here. All right. And with our fortune pickaxe... Let's see, uh, let's see how many diamonds we end up with. I'm also going to appreciate the experience we're getting here. I think, what, I had 23 stacks, or 23 uh, ore in the end? So anything better than 26 is going to be going to be a good, good enough return on investment. And look at that, we got 32 diamonds, a half stack of diamonds that we were able to get from our last mining session. So that's pretty good, I'd say. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm feeling more and more excited for what's coming up. I don't know if anyone else is, but 
we're getting getting closer and closer and closer here. So I've got all these dime. Oh, right there in my other hand. Probably better stop holding them if I'm actually going to turn them into equipment. And I did make some uh, golden boots since I remembered that going off in the nether, we're going to want to be wearing some gold. And I figured boots were were probably the way to go. So I'll get a nice shiny diamond chest plate. Ooh, some pants and a helmet. And for now, I'm going to just leave these other diamond tools, or uh, these diamonds for, for now. Um, we'll probably turn them into diamond tools down the line. Um, but I figure we probably got what we need for the time being. All right, and did I... Yes, here's my lapis. So we'll grab some lapis. I don't know why that three is just sitting there, but now we got it all. And we did get these other resources of some uh, lapis ore, some redstone ore. We even found a deep slate iron ore. Um, but we won't worry about mining those just yet, uh, maybe maybe sometime in the future. All right, we'll make our way, our way over to our enchanting table and see what kind of enchants we can get for our, our diamond equipment here. All right, so we got an unbreaking three. That's okay. Um, unbreaking three, fire protection. That sounds like not a terrible thing for having in the nether. Ooh, fire protection too, okay. I think the uh, chest plate will go ahead and lock in that fire protection. And we got unbreaking and thorns. So that's kind of a nice bit of extra there. All right, the leggings, ooh, also fire protection. And just fire protection, I guess that's fine. And our helmet, what do we... Protection three, I feel like I wouldn't mind that. What do we need, one more level? Well then, I suppose it's time we go visit the cows again. Or maybe the pigs. You know what, let's get rid of the pigs because they have been making a lot more noise. And uh, I've got a lot of them. Let's see. Do I? Want a little, a little easier in and out of the pink pen there. Oh, they're so noisy over here. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, if the background noises, like all of these animal noises, are being too overwhelming on your end, definitely, definitely let me know. Oh, because my roof. Jump. Nope. All right, guess we're just gonna break in and hope for the best. Oh, can't squeeze in too many pigs. Just waving with wild abandon. All these pigs escaping. We need one level's worth of pigs here. All right, there we go. Pick up our cooked pork that we also were able to pull off. And sneak. And we'll get rid of these strays. trying to jump out my window. There. Oh. Hey. Rude. Rude. You better be calmed down by the time I get back. Huh. Okay. That was a noisy endeavor. All right. Let's get that protection on our helmet. Since that was the whole reason we went and did all that. Protection three, and just protection three. Eh, we'll take it. Oh boy. Oh yeah. We are looking good. Oh wait, better get the better sword too. Yeah. Look at
look at all that. We're shiny. We're we're sparkly with enchants. We are ready to go. I feel ready to take on anything right now, which is probably not a good behavior to have going into the nether. Or maybe it's the right behavior. I don't know. Quick uh, side note. I did add uh, some extra touches into our library from the last time. Um, I found this glow lichen, which I thought was just a nice way to kind of ease up some of the cobbled um, deep slate that we'd had here um, and also kind of helping to further uh, break apart the just general appearance adds a little bit of background light too um, so yeah hopefully that's a change people like and not really much of, to notice but I just feel it kind of help blend things in better anyways distracted okay well shucks I think we're I think we're there all right, so we'll drop off our diamonds that we don't need. Um, we'll drop off that wool that we also, or that carpet we also don't need. We'll drop off the lapis that we don't need. Um, we can get rid of this stuff, the uncooked foods. cooked. It's empty. So we got some uncooked stuff there. We'll go sticker our uh, old boring gross armor out on our armor rack. Which I feel like that's just kind of a fun thing to have then in the background. Kind of gives a little a little extra pop and character to the bedroom. So I think I'll maybe just leave that there. And who knows? It's Never bad to have some backup armor, just in case. Um, but now that we got this shiny diamond armor. Oof, yeah. That's that's a good sight. All right, so I think we have all the equipment then that we need. We've got our diamond sword, um, our power three bow. Um, I will bring... I should maybe... Oh, I should bring a crafting table. Yeah, that would be important. Um, we've got some food... Um, and then I do have a backup flint and steel, because you never know, our nether portal on the nether side may get broken, and that wouldn't be good to get stranded. Um, and then just kind of some basic blocks, uh, stuff for torches. I guess we don't have a ton of arrows, but that's okay. Um, shields, yeah. Silk touch shovel, just in case there's some pretty things we want to pick up. And ooh, it's getting dark even. All right, so I think, you know, to be fair, I think I might even just make a brand new crafting table. That seems like a good idea. Probably wouldn't even hurt to have a few logs just in case we need to, like, I don't know, craft something. All right, so we've got that. Okay, I think, I think that's enough for, for going on a quick jaunt here. Throw on all our gear, be just ready to rock and roll. And actually, I want to show off our uh, entrance to the nether portal, so I'll go ahead and sleep so that we can see it in the light of the day. I feel like that build turned out pretty good, so I'm kind of kind of excited to show it off to you guys. You may remember there was just kind of a block of dirt over here before, but now we've got our nice little outhouse all put together. Um, try to design it like like you'd actually see, like a campground outhouse. Um, so it's got kind of the, the little indent in with a more sturdy metal roof and then a little exhaust um, vent right there. Um, since outhouses, you... Uh, need to make sure to exhaust the the underground portion and then i did have a little little air vent back there um figured you know there'd be a little bit of different vegetation growing in behind um the outhouse so figured the bushes were a nice little touch 
Okay. Otherwise, it's time to go into the secrety place. Oof. I'm excited. I'm nervous, though. I haven't been to the Nether for years, and I know it's very different from the last time I was in there. But here we go. Uh-oh. It's hurting me right away. Oh my gosh. This is super different. Uh-oh. Okay, it stopped there. Look at this. There's like... I don't know. Not just netherite all over the place. Ah, oh, that's a familiar sight. Just things on fire. Pools of lava. Okay, well, I think this is supposed to be one of the, like, forest areas, so that's pretty cool. Okay, there's the, whatever you call the lights there. Oh, and I see, I think that's some quartz. Looks like probably quartz. Oh, this is a fancy schmancy terrain. Look at all this. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. I think you are why I'm wearing gold. I believe those uh, piggly guys are, are who to watch out for, but I think those are just mean. Um, so I'm gonna gonna avoid those big pigs over there. Got some big pigs. so many noises I'm not used to. All these piglies talking all over the place. Uh, yep. Aha, I did it. This is a pretty neat spot to, to spawn into in the nether. I'm just following your lead. Oh, hey look, there's another one. Oh, oh there's a little, little baby one. Uh, hi. Are you being aggressive? I'm wearing gold. Are the little baby ones just aggressive? No, you're fine. This is so weird. It's like it's like I stepped into a whole new b video game I've never never been a part of before. Probably a bunch of you out there. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't want to play. I don't want to play, Piggly. Uh, which I think... I saw a green mushroom over here, and I feel like... Are the big pigs supposed to not like those? Did it go away? Hmm. get hit by the lava. The little pig guys didn't take it, did they? Oh, did they, did they kill it? Oh, there's ham here. Well, that's cool. Are you guys my buddies because I'm wearing gold, so you're gonna go kill the big pigs for me? Oh, there are just a ton of them around here. Oh, well, there's also a lot of the big pigs around here. Let's not be right by you. But also, let's not be right by you by the lava. Ah! <laughs> Oh geez, there's two of them. This is a bad spot. Okay, we're in the clear for a second. Okay, whew. Do you guys mind that I'm eating a cooked pork chop? I feel like you might mind about that, but you didn't make any reaction, so okay, we'll call it good. Whew. Liking the music in the background here, too. 
-hmm. Boy, I might just have to build a base in the nether here. It's so neat now. And this background music. Let's get one of these. Crimson roots. Oh, oh jeez. Yeah, kill that pig for me. Ha ha ha. Boy, I've got friends here. This is great. The nether's such a pleasant place to be in. Oh my gosh, there's a billion of them. Okay, quick run. And grab this. Because I think... I think they don't like that. Yeah. And can I do that? Okay. I think. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I think I'm now good. Oh, jeez. Nope. Might have to look into that one, because I remember there's something about, like, mushrooms. Oh, jeez. But I am not positive, and clearly I did not do it right. Oh, jeez, there are a ton of them. Quit throwing me around. Yeah, new friends. Go take care of these pigs for me. Oh, good thing I've got friends in dark places. Uh-oh. Does anyone remember where we started? That's uh, that's definitely a rule of being in the nether is... Don't forget where your nether portal is. You? Ooh, hey, gold. And uh, I did not follow that rule. But we're in the forest area, so I imagine we'll ha be able to find our way back easy enough. Well, oh jeez, that was the the wrong thing to do. Oh boy, oh boy, this is a bad spot. Uh oh, uh oh. Hoo wee! Okay, I think we're in a spot where we're okay for a second. Got a sword. I've got my health going back up. Oof, that was not a good predicament to be in. But hey, we found another portal. So, positives? Oh my gosh. When these guys hook you, they just hook you. Where'd my new friends go? Protect me. Ah, oh, you were waiting for me to put that down. Aha! Oof. I uh, might have to redact my just previous statements, though, about the Nether being a wonderful, wonderful place with friends. I do have friends around here, but they uh, don't always keep hanging out. And these guys just come out of nowhere. Like there's a thousand of them. I thought that the one mushroom would turn them away, but I'll have to I'll have to look into what it is. Maybe it's maybe it's a different kind of mushroom. Okay. Almost back to full health. Feeling a lot better here. Which we've got yeah, mostly fire protection, so I suppose uh, we're not really too equipped against the against the pigs, so all right, anyways, let's uh, let's keep getting some resources then. Get some stuff, and we can maybe maybe get some fun builds going uh, back in the main place with our with our new Nether things. Ooh, weeping vines. Yeah, I do not know what like any of this is or how any of it works. Um, yeah, is this is this dirt? Is this something you mine? Wait, I want this one. Aha! It 
it is crimson melium. And apparently you mine it with pickaxe. It's pretty. I like it. Could add some add some fun build stuff. Ooh, hey, I have my bow. Let's shoot ya. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you, you little you little meanie? Where'd you run off to? I wanted to kill you. Get back over here. Okay, fine. So yeah, I am pretty happy with uh, this general area that our nether portal brought us to. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. There's my friends. You kill those pigs. Get them. Square, square. Yeah, it's pretty... A pretty area. Hello? You, you look worse for the wear. Hey, hey, back off. Jerk. Am I, am I picking these up? No? Uh, let's see. Did I have an axe? I didn't bring an axe with. Rookie mistake. I feel like we've already established. I have no idea what I'm doing here, though. Oh, another warp block. So is that one that you shovel? Maybe? The shovel's working. Yeah, I'll have to think about uh, some sort of um, little nether side base that I can do. Um, which one of my long-term goals with this setup is to... Um, have a kind of a hub from all of my areas um, as we keep building themes and things. Um, so yeah, it'll be kind of nice to have this decorated in some sort of cryptids manner and then having a tunnel system or something um, going from, from base to base as we continue progressing, but that'll be something we'll get to when we get to. For now, we're just checking this all out. Uh, let's see. This, then, is just regular nether rack, right? Yeah. That I am familiar with. I don't know how much of that nether... nether... nether helium? Nether... Ne nylium? Whatever. Uh, warp block, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much to grab this. Warp block is really pretty. Is it like just more or less the leaves? Oh, hey, I can just punch it. Gotta be careful with that lava hanging out right there. See, what I remember from uh, from before the nether updates was it was basically just netherrack and lava, and that was it. Um, it had the easy, or the fast transport thing, which was always cool, but, uh, yeah, basically it was just lava and drops and, ooh, hey, hey, oh, there's some striders down there. I think that's what you call them, the, the little lava rider guys. That's pretty fun. I don't have a saddle still, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should get some quartz over down here, because... That is useful. And that was a good statement. No, um, it's good to can do some, some redstone experiments. Oh, good, I can just punch these. Might go faster with my shovel, though. Aha! Because these are, what, like the mushroom lights or something? Shroom lights? Um, so that's kind of a fun uh, source of light, too. Might be nice for lighting up like our uh, underground barn or something because I kind of liked having the jack-o'-lanterns um, more of a fun soft light but this can just kind of be a fun way to I don't know add a little bit of different color and a little bit of form of light it's good to know that they're all plentiful right here am I going to be punching a tree down in the nether I guess I'm tree punching in the nether I think these are trees crimson stem yeah, this looks like trees. Which I suppose I could make an axe quick. I do have my crafting table. Let's do that. Using some 
big brain power here. We do have the two pools of lava right around. But yeah, I don't know if anyone else is as excited about this little little patch we stumbled across, but I think this is a really very neat um, another biome to have stumbled into. Ooh, crimson planks. Those are pretty. I don't know why I did that. I have sticks. Uh, stone axe. One should be more than plenty. Let's go ahead and chop down this tree. Chops, seems like it chops down really easy. Oh, and actually I can just punch those. There's no reason to. I say as I grab my shovel. Better to shovel or axe these? Does it not matter? I heard Piglies. Was that friend Piglies or mean Piglies? Friend Piggly. And I don't want to take down too many trees right around the area because it is very fun having them be so overgrown. That's always the problem with Minecraft is that I love just some of the ways that areas around you naturally generate. And so just being able to look at it and see it and you know, have it be like the way that it generated. That's why a lot of times with my builds, I try to shape around my environment rather than, you know, completely terraforming it. Um, but you do need some resources here and there, and uh, it's just nice to get other stuff. So I try to, try to not be, I don't know, too destructive with my, with my cutting stuff down and getting things. Let's mm -hmm. Is that a fly? It sounded like a fly in my ear. I guess it's just the pig squealing over there. Weird. This one can go. Hey, don't don't get in the way though. I don't want to accidentally hit you. We're friends here, but I feel like if I hit you, you'll suddenly uh, turn on me. Oh, that's what that noise was. We're going to take care of that. Okay. Nice and easy. Oh my gosh, one hit! Power three is solid. Poor ghast, now I feel bad. Ooh, it's pretty down there too. Another kind of foresty area and kind of floating islands above the lava. Yeah. Nice. Gonna have to figure out like a stair system or something for getting getting down there. Alright, there's quartz up there. I keep getting distracted by all these new sights. Ugh, I feel... I don't know, kid in a candy store isn't quite right. But, uh... It's definitely a... I guess just a tourist. A really... A really obvious tourist. All these wonderful new things that probably a bunch of people have already seen a ton of times and are really bored with by now. But it's new for me, and you're here, and you get a deal with me, so there we are. I'm sure I'm completely harvesting this stuff the wrong way, but that's okay. Oh, jeez. When did you get over here? Yeah, that's right. You keep running. Back off. Nobody likes you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, jeez. Another one. Well, the good news is I'm getting experience. And I'm finally putting this armor to use. I'm uh, pretty sure if I was wearing my iron armor, we would have been long dead by now. Oh, yeah. I probably don't want to get rid of all of my light. So let's maybe do like boop and badoop. There. Now our portal looks silly. And I like it. Alright, we'll clear out this one just to open up right around our entrance a little bit more. And because these are some pretty materials and 
can use it for, I don't know, things. I'm going to try to not go into another tree if I can help it. In fact, I think that's all connected to... Is this another tree, or is that just... No, that's just all the, I don't know, weeping leaves? Uh oh Okay. Well, the nether is a lot prettier than the last time that I ever came and explored it. I don't know how much of it is now this kind of space, um, but, but I am quite a fan. I suppose I could leave that little ring up there just for, you know, why nots. Oh, hey, and there's some quartz up above that tree. Well, good, that's nice and conveniently located. We'll grab that. hearing the, the good guy pigmen and thinking it's those... Well, I guess I shouldn't say good guy, because they only aren't attacking me because I've got gold on, but I do have gold on, so we're friends. But I keep hearing the uh, good guy ones and thinking it's the, the big mean ones, so... Let's see, they're, they're called pigmen and then, like, hoglins? I think I think that's the correct names for him. Which makes me think of Hoggle from Labyrinth. Okay, cool. We got that cleared out. We got some some fun resources we can bring around back with us. I guess there's lava here giving us some light in the area. But yeah. Very nice. We've got a nice setup. I suppose we could use like nether blocks for building a little, little sheltery area around our portal. Might as well use the the local things. We've got all these fun crimson stems now and crimsonium, nylium, the wart blocks. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of fun material we can kind of work with. Let's see, I want to keep exploring a little bit, though. Where was that quartz at? Ooh, there's gold up there. Quartz is all the way over there, over the big lava pit. And that's, that's not where I want to go. I love these little floating forest islands around here, though. That's so fun. Oh, thank you, friends. That Piggly was sneaking up on me. And they keep giving me leather and meat from it, so I mean, you really can't complain. I suppose I could make a little furnace in here too, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's see, let's see, where else can we explore? Sneaking around the lava. Oh, hey look, gold right there. It's kind of fun just having the gold peeking around in the nether here, though. It kind of, I don't know, just makes it feel more nethery. Quartz over there. Quartz in there. Is quartz always in the ceiling, or is it just because I'm in a place with no bottom? I think it's more because of that. Um, I think I think when I looked, that was maybe I don't know. Maybe it is over my floating pod. Let's uh, let's get a little closer to see. Oh yeah, that's overhead up where we are. Okay, nice. Uh, grab out my dirt, and we'll grab the silk touch so that we can just grab a bunch of it and do fortune on it all later. Oop. Hey, pig. A little bit of a different connotation in the nether than, than out on the, uh, what do they call it, the overworld. You say hey to a pig down here, and it's, you know, might talk back to you. And they probably don't like it if you try to put a saddle on them in, in the nether. Ooh, yeah, getting some quartz. Yep. Not that I really know how to 
do much redstone, but I know there's some cool tricks we can do with quartz, so we'll might as well grab it. Doesn't hurt. If nothing else, we can make some building blocks out of it. hope there isn't lava right overhead. That would be less than great. Is that kind of like the the problem down in the nether? You know, you don't dig directly below yourself in the overworld, so you don't dig directly overhead when you're in the nether. Where was my Back down to safety. Oh man. Didn't know it was up there like that. Yup. Hmm. Where else to explore? It's kind of hard because I think everything is like a floating island around here. So I don't know how much I can get to without having to like... Either do a bunch of dirt scaffolding or, yeah, pretty much just that. Oh my gosh, again? How did you get me through that? Can't even reach you from here. Okay. Ugh, rude. These jerks. How's my armor holding up? Oh, really good. Oh, my gold armor is, though, actually actually getting kind of low. Oh, I've also kind of been dropping down a little bit, so I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Uh, I feel like things could get very messy very quick if I suddenly lost my boots. Ah. Yeah, that's right. I took care of the big one. You run, little guy. Keep on a running. All right, now these, I think, I think you need silk touch, or no, I think you can break them and then just, um, like recombine the dust later. Oh, are these growing on the tree? Yeah, that's right, get out of here. I think I like meanie pig and friendly pig better than pigmen and hoglins. I wonder if you get a notification when your armor explodes. Because I would kind of like to know... Hey, back off. I would kind of like to know if suddenly I am not going to have friends around here. I'm taking all of these, to be honest. It, uh, probably more than I'm gonna want right off the bat. But look at all this area, though. Oh, so cool. Just this big, vast red forest in the, in the terrible netherland. Uh oh. Is this where my forest is done? This is looking more what I'm used to. Alright, I think we've officially reached the border of our forest area and are in the uh, far less hospitable netherlands. Can I get down there from here? I don't think so. Which I could always jump, but that's a very poor idea. I like, though, how with this uh, general zone we've got that there's these other kind of offshoot forests around. It's just a very neat area to have spawned in, so that's pretty pretty fortunate that we were, had that generate like that. Oh, there's more of them back. 
So I think they just like generate here just random. So that's the uh, downside to being in a forest. Oh, okay, it was a friend pig. Friend pig, not mean pig. For now. We have a very uh, mm -hmm. uh, flimsy relationship. As soon as I don't have gold, they are like, oh, nope, not part of the club. Very bougie pigs. I wish I could use water to um, get down, but I know that uh, does not end well in the nether. Oh, well, thanks for coming along. Uh, glad you're able to come hang out for uh, our early nether explorations. We'll see you next time. To be fair, I'm just kind of at a loss of where to keep heading to next. I think, I think we try making for that rock. I don't know. Or maybe it'd be better to try going to one of the lower forests because I feel like then we can. Hmm. How much nether rack do I have? Not a ton. I'll make a little bridge. Oh, what a jerk. Make a little bridge over this way be nice to have a full circle we can reach around with our um, little spawn, another spawn point here. Oh no! Torch is not helpful! Aha! Sharpness 3 sword strikes again! Was not the uh, best place to have a pig kicking me up into the air. Well, I guess this is just our nether life, is this little floating, floating island up here. Be another pork chop. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think what we'll maybe try doing, and we probably won't get all the way with this go around though, is to try and like bridge down to that one and then to like some of the others just so we can, I feel like if we can get down to a little bit of a lower level, we I think we're towards the top of the nether. Um, so I don't know that it's gonna be very easy to explore areas around here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. They must just, like, three of them respawn every minute or something. Something just died over here. I hope it wasn't a friend pig. Did I climb up that? Are these climbable? Ooh, they are. That's fun. You know, and I suppose one thing, too, we could kind of do is build, like, a little... Like, maybe a little tunnel cave right into here? Yeah. You know what? That seems like a good... A good little thing that we can do as a... Oh, oh, oh. No good thing I got fire protection on. And I suppose we could even just dig right back into this area below, or behind us. Right, keep it all connected to our main nether portal. That's probably a good call. All right, still got some armor, so we're good there. Uh, I guess I'll keep using this pick, or uh, you know what? I'll just I'll make a stone one. Maybe even a couple. I should make a. Gonna need some storage pretty soon here too. All right. Do do do. I hear you, Gast. You were not invited. Okay, 
da, 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 da. Ooh, hey, more quartz. And more or less just kind of matching the shape of the nether portal here. We could, could go a little bit on, so that's like the outsides of it, but I don't mind it being kind of like the wall of it connecting. Of course, the way I dug it, it actually uh, does go out, so never mind. So we will do. Ba, 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 ba. Yep. Gas just floating around like a gnat. I have an axe. Why am I not using it? Ugh. I tell ya. Some people. Okay, we'll have. I suppose we can leave that like that as kind of an mm -hmm. external light. And we'll make we'll make a door eventually, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I kind of like our little mechanism that we have inside of our base, but I don't think it's very practical for rebuilding it out here. When it's kind of like we'll have kind of some carpet or something. ceiling there and I guess I don't have a ton of inspiration in this general area I'm not used to being in the nether or building in it um, ah jeez you again nope they got bored with me um, so I guess I'm gonna have to work on thinking up some some ideas of what I might want to build around here. We've got this crimson wood, which actually I should probably... I should probably do more with that. Uh, yoink. I like eating the pork chops down here. Rub it in the face of the meanie guy pigs. And hope that my friend pigs don't notice. I suppose we could have it be like, have this part be the, the nether rack, and then maybe like a door frame around here out of the crimson planks. I think I like that idea. Yep. There. Oops. Oh, hey friend. Did you? Did you pick up my nether rack? Is that a thing that happened? It might be a thing that happened. Uh oh. Well, this base suddenly got a lot less interesting. Or a lot less of a good idea. Of course, it looks like. It looks like it's flowing right there. Hmm. That could actually be kind of a fun little feature, having a lava back wall. Maybe put some glass up so I don't accidentally walk into it. Definitely feels like it uh, fits the theme of another, and it's kind of like a, a villain base in a sense of, ooh, there's the, the lava wall flowing in the background. Blah. That's what villains say. Blah. Yeah, let's... Oh, that's right. There was, like, that little kind of lake, lava lake back there. I think since it had the flat against it, it'll just keep... Panic. So I think it'll just kind of stay like that, but if I remove these blocks, that could could lead to issues, but we'll leave that open for like a window f temporarily. I think I'm going to have to go in search of more netherrack to keep closing this off. Okay, this, this, and this. Like that. Okay, so we've got our nice little kind of boxed in area. I don't know how we'll do deal with this just yet, but we'll figure something out. Maybe... Yep. Ba -doop. 
Oh, jeez. That ended poorly. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, I gotta go on this side and fix it. Because now my base has a lava floor. And that was not the goal. Okay, let's see here. I got greedy. I tried to tried to have it all and just didn't quite work out. Alright, let's see. Let's see here. So I think as long as I do like do do. Now it's flowing over that way, and I think it should have redirected away from my interior. Dang it. Not yet. Okay. Well, and the other option is just put some, put some dirt down. Maybe if we dig in this way. Ah, I just built this wall for crying out loud. And... Pyow! Aha! Saving the base. Alright. There! That seems significantly more stable. And less me just spontaneously lighting on the fire. Okay. Aw, oh, we had those little like I can I can plop a couple back. You and you. There. Okay, so let's see here. So maybe we'll do some glowstone for the inside. Do it like that and that. Kind of more of the artificial interior lighting. And then we'll have the, uh, the mushrooms that are kind of our outside lighting. Also kind of helping to mark off our, where our thing is. All right, very nice, very nice. Nothing too exciting, but just kind of, just kind of a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and put a crafting table right there. And let's make a furnace too. Not a bad idea. Plop that like right there. Ma'am. Grab a few of those. Uh, actually, we just need. One set, and two barrels. And we're completely full up on stuff right now, so it's a good thing we have these barrels. Yep. All right, nice. Might end up having that whole wall be barrels by the end, who knows. And I can drop off, you know, let's drop off some backup steak. I feel like that's a good idea. And our backup flint and steel, too, is probably good to keep in here. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I don't know. I guess we don't need a whole. I guess the raw pork chops are okay to leave in here. And the rest of this, I do want to bring back to our main area. Um, which I suppose. I suppose we could head back to the main area. Let's let's fill in these couple extra slots here, though. We we've got some room yet in our inventory, in our limited limited inventory. Um, and we can get that figured out, and then oh, we have one oak plank sitting here. That's just gonna that's just gonna drive me nuts. Let's see. If I do this. This and then sticks. There. There, condensing that down. Okay. And actually, oop, oh, friend pig. Let's go ahead and crimson hyphae. Make some crimson planks. I guess we'll drop you here. Oh yeah, look at that. Some Stairs. Is 
there crimson doors, crimson signs, fence, doors. Ooh, I like the look of the crimson door. I feel like that really fits in. So maybe we can do like a... Uh... So we want a little bit more space in the front. Where is my Neelium? Neelium. We'll put... Right there. And bring this out one more all along there. And then we'll go ahead and do a door. Door. Ooh, I like. I like the looks of those doors. Maybe, maybe I could do it on the next one in. You know what? Let's do it on the next one in. Dun, 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 dun. Give us a little bit more of a front entryway space. Go ahead and do that. And do some, do some planks around it. Whoops. Kind of a fun purpley color. I'm grab a couple more planks. And actually, we're gonna want a decent number because I think, I think what I'll do then. So we've got it masked off there, just to give it a little bit more, I don't know, finished feel. Why did it do it like that? That's silly. There. Did my my door go through the portal? Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, it kind of gives that particle-y effect. There's the, I don't know, a little bit of particles of just the nether floating around, and then the particles of the portal behind it. So it's kind of closed off. But then, if we go through, we can, I don't know why I did it that way, try out some stairs then. Do it like go. that. Is that the direction we want to go? I think so. E uh oh. Oh, I hit it! Patoo! Yeah, this is why nobody likes gas. Uh, oh, didn't, didn't make that. Uh oh. Hey, hey. Scram. All right. Now you're getting blown up. Or getting shot. There you go. Oh, went off in the distance. Lighting fires all over my face. What a jerk. Just a jerk. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe I found something I dislike more than creepers. It's a creeper that flies at you. Ugh. Just the worst. Why does anyone play this game when there's terrible stuff like that floating around? No, just kidding. We all we all love it. Alright, so if we do like uh something like that maybe? And then like that again, so kind of framing. Well now I'm gonna have to build something around the tunnel in the end if I'm gonna get all decorative like this. Is that or should I do it the opposite I need a couple more a couple more stairs here in the end oops another round of planks another round of stairs right. oh hey Don't remember. Do oh, for crying out loud. And then normal way. All right. So is it better like that or like that? 
I like how that kind of keeps the light more open, but then that kind of looks more like a, you know, normal opening you'd have around a light. I think I might do that. I feel like that's kind of a fun little, little just a little extra texture. It's kind of a weird design, but uh, I feel just kind of, I don't know. Feels like a dungeon in a sense, which is in a se in a way what the the Nether is kind of like. Bah. Okay. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. Which I think I think I've been shooting some stuff through through my portal. So I'm gonna see if I can collect it. Yeah. Oh, hey. And back through. Maybe. Back through this time. Okay, go. Oops, not that. I want my dirt. Up through here. And do 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 There, just kinda helping to round stuff off. That's uh definitely a fun or an I don't know, maybe not fun, but a nice thing about the stairs is it just kinda helps give a couple of different points of texture with stuff. Um, adding a little bit more shape than just the standard square block. Oh man, my friend pigs are getting destroyed over there. But also, I think all of the jerk pigs were getting destroyed. Ah, I keep hitting you with a torch. That is no help. Yeah. That's what you get for taking out my friend pigs. You guys over here having a war with each other. I'm just trying to build fancy doors. Why can't everyone just build fancy doors together? questions of the universe. Okay, so yeah, now that I have this front, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to want to decorate out the sides of the tunnel a little bit, but that's something we'll get to, I don't know, down the line. Ooh, you have an enchanted sword. You must be fancy. Mm -hmm. okay. And more fancy than normal. But yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Maybe we could even throw in a little bit of like a what would it look like if we took these two out, these planks? Yep. Put... Yeah. Just to give, again, a little bit of a different pop and texture and kind of looks more like a little bit of a headboard or something. Maybe I... I heard you gassed. I heard you out there. I don't know where you are, but I heard you. You're on thin ice. Oh, can you... You can. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I like that. Yeah. That's what we'll do for the door. I'm liking it. Feels like it uh, ties in nicely with the kind of foresty space here. Well, nice. Very nice. All right. Well, I have some dirt. And that's all you need in Minecraft. Some dirt and the ability to punch trees and the world is your oyster. But now I have some dirt, so I think I can get down to there. I suppose I could even do like a, a ladder setup. This is gonna be tough though. It's always so hard getting down places, especially when you can't uh, use a water bucket to get down. Hmm. Oh, I've got these vines. I wonder... Huh. I wonder if I could use that in any way. The heck? Ah. Oh, I've heard about those. Magma cubes. Not, uh, not looking fun to interacting with those. And actually, so looking at it, I think if I got over to that island, I'd be
be able to get down and around a lot easier. So maybe, maybe that's the way to go. I just keep finding remains of battles of, of the good pigs and the bad pigs fighting each other. Yeah, okay. So I think I could dirt scaffold out over to there pretty easily. And then I could slowly build like another rack, uh, I don't know, bridge thing back over this way. So I think, I think we'll try that out. And can I get down on the lower? Oh, nope, it was, that's the lowest we've got. And you know, for safety, I should probably, just to make sure one of the mean guy pigs doesn't doesn't sneak in. I better make kind of a, a blockade there. Some, just some bumpers so they don't sneak up and push me off the ledge sometime. Kind of like how the bridge too would be, you know, have the lava on each side. That's kind of a, a nice nethery effect there. Do, 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 am I too close to that one? Nope, we're good. Do 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 build in a bridge. Alright. Getting there. Slowly getting there. Oop. Part of me too is like, oh boy, I hope there aren't ghasts that are just gonna suddenly hop out and knock me off of this thing too. It's probably one thing that I'll want to try and do is make sure that the whatever bridge I do end up putting together is enclosed. I don't believe though that in the nether we have to worry about endermen, so that's a bonus for sure. Okay, we're at the end here. Oh wait a second. I've had all this stone on me too. Oh, not a ton left anymore. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I could probably make that jump. And then maybe I will run back and make a ladder, or a set of ladders. Yeah, hi there. Burp, burp. Gotta, gotta learn the language of my friend pigs if I'm gonna be hanging out with them all the time. Burp, burp, burp. All right. How many ladders can I get? I can get three. I'm gonna want more. Boots are getting towards the end here, but I think I have enough where I can jump off of that little little bridge we've got down to the lower level without uh, losing them, I hope. And then we'll just kind of build up like a netherrack tower and put some ladders on it and call it a day. If all of these pigs start swarming me though, I'm going to be very sad. Okay, still got boots, we're good. And right here, I believe. And bloop. Oh, I'm getting in a lot of extra sound effects today. Must, uh, must be the coffee. Come on, there we go. Gotcha. Oh, look at that, perfectly lined up. Beautiful. Okay. And... One more right there. Beautiful. OK. 
Okay. Well, now we're away from the meanie guy pigs, which helps. But those cubes were out and about. Oh, there's a lot of quartz around here. I'm just gonna... I should really name these. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some quartz while I'm at it. Try exploring down our little floating mountain here. Oh no, are we filled up on quartz? You can get rid of these brown mushrooms. You can get those anywhere. Brrr. Ah, delicious. Delicious pork chops. And... Thankfully, oh, that's a big pit over there. Gotta watch out for those around here. You always forget that there's just a plethora of sheer drops around the nether. Okay, so I think kind of going in this direction. I'm really going to need a much better system of navigating my way back than what I've got, which is my memory. There. Okay, so we made it over to this next little floating island forest. Well, it looks like the magma cubes must have despawned from over there, which is good because I didn't want to deal with them. I was hoping we'd see more land. Oh, I can see a little bit off over there. Um, okay, so we'll whittle this down a little bit another bridge off to that section and then we'll kind of scout it out and then you know what might actually be kind of a decent idea is I might I might head back to my very original base kind of our in-between themes base and try making a portal there that way we can you know, wherever that pops up, we can try and start bridging between the two. And that's probably something that I won't really do much when I'm streaming, um, since that's kind of a non-themed housekeeping thing. Because um, obviously with still being the cryptid stuff, um, you know, it's, it's nice to get out and explore the nether. It's kind of that next step with, uh, with each theme we want to keep progressing, but then we want to also stay on theme so uh, this area right here could actually be a really nice space for doing a another i don't know another uh, friendly cryptid build um, something that's kind of more fire and brimstone like uh, i don't know beast of bray road of course that's probably better off in the village something a little bit more dark, even like having a werewolf or a vampire or something in here. I know those aren't really really cryptids, but you know, that, that kind of style of uh, build. Haha, <laughs> one shot, gotcha. I don't know what you dropped there. I think it was just experience. Um, but you know, building something kind of more spooky along those lines um, could be could be a nice, and this could be a good spot for, for something like so I think that's kind of what we'll end up trying to do. And it looks like I've got another couple floating islands off over that way, some stuff over there. Um, so probably as we keep exploring, I can go check... Oh, hi, pigs. I can go check all that out. Otherwise, probably probably just staying in the foresty area, because honestly, this kind of this kind of terrain is really nice, I feel, for the cryptids. It kind of feels like if a... Uh, cryptid creature is going to be living it's going to be in kind of these spooky tree zones so so that's really really fortunate that we were able to connect to those with with our current build theme so I, i'll have to think up some ideas of what i'd like to get in this general area and um, that'll probably be what we try and work on in our next couple of themes is building some uh, some creatures that would live in these kind of spots and using some of the nether materials, too, in the buildings. 
And actually, I guess this is a nice flat area, too, to have some, some cryptids, maybe even having a couple of them interacting with each other. I'll have to, I'll have to look at some that might be, um, I don't know, good ones to have as, as companions in that sense. Oh, and that could be a good general area for just getting into more of the, the nether area. So nice. Well, I feel like we got a good little check around exploration of the nether as a whole. I think I'm on the wrong portion. Um, and I don't have a, a hundred ideas yet on what exactly I'd like to build in this general vicinity, but I feel like I'm starting to get some, some thoughts on what could be good. And of course we'll want to work on a little bit of fortifications, um, building up, you know, our little teeny tiny, teeny, teeny tiny nether outpost. There we go. Oh, hey guy, you guarding the bridge for me? Keeping the, the meanie pigs out of the way? I appreciate that. I appreciate you. You guys, you guys are pretty good guys. I like you pigs. I, uh, I think I'm gonna need to get another pair of uh, gold boots though, cause these are, these are definitely getting to the, the end of their ropes already. You get knocked around by the meanie pigs enough times and that takes care of that. All right, let's see. We gotta fill in this hole a little bit, make it look a little less explody. Uh, some like that, and then maybe maybe those like that. They can still have kind of a ledge going. Come on, I suppose. We'll put. Get out of here. And you'll come back. Looks a little, a little more like how it originally is supposed to. Maybe. Just a little bit better. Oh, cool. Well, I am excited about where we ended up landing with the nether. I definitely was not expecting these sights when I came through the portal. Um, this is all very unexpected sights for me. Um, and I like our little, our little mini base that we've got. It just kind of feels, you know, dark and eerie and very much thrown together, um, which I feel better fits the, the sense of the nether. We've got our limited supplies and oops, we've got, you know, limited equipment. Um, kind of makes sense, like we kind of more, more got stranded in the mysterious secrety land and in our search for, search for our cryptids that could be out and about. Are you just gonna, just gonna live in this? You? Oh. Oh. I guess, uh, I guess we have a roommate now. That's okay. I like these guys. My local friends. You can, you can keep in my base. That's just fine. Oh, because I had the shield in the offhand. That's why it kept going up. Because there was the technically hostile mob but I got gold on so we're buddies okay oh and it's even daytime look at that Ooh, but the sun is starting to go down we are getting out just in time yeah I really like how that one came out that was a fun little build well I think that is probably gonna be where we're gonna have to call it for the day we've been on for for a good little chunk of time but we had a lot of exploring to to start out in today since it was our first trip to the nether for me since updates have happened and look at all this fun stuff we've got i don't know where i'm gonna put it all that'll be an off stream thing for me to figure out maybe i'll have a special special spot uh, designated just for the the nether equipment and otherwise oh i might have to get a second armor stand for putting my beautiful diamond gear but otherwise, we'll uh, sit and enjoy the, the sunset, and this has been been Crake and Bake doing a, a round of I definitely know what I'm doing. I hope everyone enjoyed coming out and exploring the nether, and um, maybe some of you were filled with as much awe and wonder as I was with seeing it, with uh, the sights that I've never gotten to see, and otherwise, thanks for coming along, everyone who was able to has been around if I definitely know what I'm doing and we'll see you next time. Oop, that's the moon. That's the sun. Look at it go.